Johnny Flynn. Hi. Right. Um, I'll start off with the more serious stuff with, with this One Life. It's a really affecting movie. I really enjoyed it. And it gave me a thought that I hadn't had for a long time, which I think the older I get, the more uncomfortable I feel with the, the subject matter of, of some movies mm. like this. And I don't know whether it's because it's harder to separate the, the kind of sepia-toned history of events like this in mm. movies. The kind of the older you get and the more you're bombarded with the, like, the real world copy and paste monstrosities which seem to be just going on all all the time. It's harder to kind of go, oh, this is a nice film that reminds me of a thing we've got through. Mm. Uh, and I just wondered from, from an actor's point of view, does that kind of stuff stay with you? Is that more difficult when you do something like this to kind of shake off? Um, yeah, I, well, I was just talking about how in between, uh, you know, doing the scenes uh, for this film, which were, you know, it, if we were in a refugee camp and portraying, you know, children being kind of ripped from their parents, or um, it's it's like so it's so upsetting, and it's hard to know what to do with yourself in the evenings or in between takes. And normally, actors kind of huddle together and crack jokes, and everything felt inappropriate um, doing this. But um, uh, so there was there was a there was um, not. Not a solemn, but there was a there was a sort of um, sort of sanctity around the way um, we were holding that space to tell this real story, and that felt appropriate. And mm. uh, yeah, and it 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 has stayed with me, and I found it really affecting watching the film. Normally, you can kind of when you watch your own movies or shows or whatever, you can sort of almost see the edge of the set, and you remember mm. what it really looked like. But everything. Um, like that vanished for me. The, the the just the real emotional story um, came through, and uh, I found it, yeah, very very moving. Yeah, I remember it, it, it reminded me. A lot of people made the comparison to something like Schindler's List, and I remember watching that as a youngster and thinking, oh, this is a really sad thing in history, and this is a really yeah. affecting story. And then I watched this in my thirties, having been bombarded with everything that's begun on the news, and mm -hmm. like, uh, Ukraine and Palestine and everything. You just it feels like. You're just watching something which we're doomed to see forever and ever and ever. Um, let's talk about Nicholas Winton. Um, he's an unconventional hero because it's not meant to be this charismatic kind of Hollywood hero mm. type. Uh, and I wondered, was that a kind of a fun challenge as an actor to try and keep that character understated, you know, remove the twinkle which you yeah. may be tempted to do yeah. uh, when all the cameras are on you. Yeah, he's not um Errol Flynn or, you know, he um yeah, absolutely. I think I think the the beauty of this story is that he's an, he's quite an everyday hero. He looks very unassuming and uh, he was working as a stockbroker in the in the 30s in London and he got a call from a friend to go out and see the situation in in Czechoslovakia, and and he was horrified, and he, just because of his principles, he was he felt compelled to help, uh, and especially to to think about these children, um, and so it's an it's it just feels like a very very important story to tell that you know we need everyday heroes, we need um, maverick thinking, we need rule breakers, um, and he he manipulated the system, he had to play the Nazis, the Czech government and the British government to to get the visas approved. Uh, but he did it. He saved so many lives. Um, and sharing time. a character with Sir Anthony Hopkins, which must be kind of a, a, a bizarre, exciting privilege for, for any actor. Uh, I heard that he filmed like his block first and you came and kind of observed and yeah. saw some of the mannerisms. Yeah. Uh, how, how, I wondered how kind of collaborative was it with you guys to create this, this man on screen? Did you just try and like reverse engineer the bits you liked or did you guys discuss how you were going to give the same energy? I yeah, um, we did talk a bit. Um, there wasn't very much time. It was like, you know, we didn't, we didn't have a huge amount of money or time and um, so when I was watching him on set, they they were under pressure to make the day and, and do what they needed to do. So I just, I loved, but it was really, really useful to just watch him. And um, 
I've done other projects where the, I'm sharing a character with a, with another actor, and we're doing you know alternate scenes or different days, but we're there in the same place together, and we can spend more time together. There wasn't that much time, but it was invaluable to watch him. And um, and then I uh, after they'd finished th that block with him, James, the director, sent me everything that they'd shot of Anthony, so I could just watch it. And I, when I was out in Prague doing my stuff. Um, I'd have that on my phone in the mornings um, on the way to work, and it was just—it's really useful to just to, to to keep a hold of a sense of of him. And not the only great actor you obviously act alongside Alan Bonham Carter, mm. uh, two of our finest uh, uh, from from these aisles uh, over the last few decades. Really, you're a, you're a, you're, a, you're still a young actor, but with like a wealth of experience. But did you feel like you? You learned something or you took some kind of golden nuggets away from that experience. Yeah, yeah, you always learn um, from from um, other anyone, from other brilliant actors, but especially to um, such fantastic people as them. Um, uh, I mean, Hel Helen is just tremendous fun. Like, she creates an atmosphere of, 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 of laughter and fun wherever she is, and... She brought that to to her character as well, and anyway, I, they, it was just such a privilege to to be involved. Mm -hmm.